Hi there! Welcome to Look Smarter Than You Are with PBCS Planning and Budgeting Cloud Service. In this video, we'll be discussing sandboxes. You may be wondering, what is a sandbox? If you're thinking of a box of sand in the middle of a playground where little children play, you're correct! Well, kind of. If the playground was a PBCS application, the sandbox was a data form, and the little children were PBCS users. Let's go over some sandbox highlights. Sandboxing is a new PBCS feature that allows users to play around in data forms and see the impact of data without affecting the plans of other users. Users can create their own sandboxes to play in all by themselves. No other user can enter their sandbox. Changes made in the sandbox are not saved to the application unless the user publishes. And sandbox data forms are available in SmartView for data entry. First things first. We need to enable sandboxes when we first create the PBCS application. To do this, simply check the Enable Sandboxes option when you see this screen on the right. Note that sandboxes cannot be enabled once the application has been created. When building the version dimension, we'll need to check the Enable Sandboxes box in each version member we would want users to create sandboxes for. This image shows the member properties for the Pass1 version member with the Enable Sandboxes checked. All right, let's talk about the HSP view dimension. What is this strange, mysterious dimension? It's a dimension that is automatically created when sandboxes are enabled in an application. There are three members created along with it, base data, sandbox data, and consolidate data. Base data is where the data is stored when users are working directly in the application. To phrase it another way, it's when users are working in a non-sandbox view. The opposite of base data is sandbox data which is where the data is stored when users are working in the sandbox. And as the name suggests, consolidated data is the combination of base data and sandbox data. Data is retrieved from sandbox data when it is available, and if it is not, the data is pulled from base data instead. Consolidated data is a dynamically calculated member. Note that the HSP view dimension or its members cannot be altered, and members should not be reordered. This diagram reiterates how the HSP view dimension works. By default, forms and ad hoc grids will use the base data member. Data entered in a user sandbox will be housed in sandbox data. Users can publish the data in a sandbox to base data so that it can be saved to the application and seen by other users. When consolidated data is used to view data, it brings together base data and sandbox data. At this time, I'd like to mention one note about the Oracle documentation regarding sandboxes. The documentation states that the consolidated data member must be updated with this script in order for proper sandbox members to be referenced. The script will validate. However, an error will occur if we hit save. Since this is the case, this step of updating the consolidated data member may not be necessary. A sandboxes member will be created automatically in the version dimension. Once you've enabled sandboxes for a version, a corresponding sandbox member is created for that version. For example, if the final and pass1 versions are enabled for sandboxing, sandboxes final and sandboxes pass1 will be created. When a sandbox is created by a user, a new member will be added as a child of the sandbox version member. For example, if a user creates a sandbox called Worst Case in the final version, it will be added under Sandboxes Final. The data in the Worst Case sandbox will be stored at the intersection of the Worst Case version member and the HSP view member sandbox data. Next up is Business Roles in Sandboxes. Unfortunately, the only business roles that are available in sandboxes are the Calculate Form and Calculate Currencies roles. If your application does not have multiple currencies, you are stuck with just the Calculate Form rule. In order for aggregations to work for data in sandboxes, upper-level members of sparse dimensions must be set to dynamic calc, basically putting the plan type in hybrid aggregation mode, power of BSO and AOSO databases in a single queue. Now that everything is set up, it's time for the users to play in the sandboxes. This can be done in three easy steps. Open a data form and click the plus icon to create a new sandbox. Name the sandbox and click Create. You will see the sandbox as a new tab next to the original form. Enter data in the sandbox and view the impact on other accounts or forms. And when you are ready, 
Go to the Actions menu, hover over the Sandbox option, and click Publish to move the data from Sandbox data to Base data. All modified data from the Sandbox will be published. That includes data across different POVs or pages and across different forms. If multiple planners publish Sandbox data to the same member in the Base data view, the most recently published data will overwrite the previously published data. As a note, any supporting detail cells previously created in the non-sandbox form cannot be removed in a sandbox form. PBCS will allow you to go through the steps of deleting those cells, but the supporting detail will come back. There are a few notes or rules about sandboxes that we want to be aware of. All security is still in effect when users use sandboxes. Planners may have multiple sandboxes and switch between them. Planners will impact other planners when sandboxing. For a form to support sandboxing, version must be on the page or in the POV as a user variable. Updating data in a sandbox through SmartView is available, but creating, deleting, or publishing data is not available. We're near the end of our sandbox video and we have one last topic to discuss. Managing sandboxes. System administrators can manage all sandboxes that users create. The following information can be viewed. Data in all sandboxes which version member the sandbox is based on, who created each sandbox, and when the sandboxes were last modified. In addition to viewing this information, administrators can delete any user's sandbox as they wish. To manage sandboxes, click the Council icon from the main menu of the simplified interface, go to the Actions menu, and click Manage Sandboxes.